Hi, welcome to ASE Table Talk. I'm Dr. Kevin Winfield. Today with me is Matt Gentry, Senior Engineer at Airflow Sciences. So Matt, what are we talking about today? We are going to talk about a uh, reverse impact probe, commonly referred to as a dirty air probe, Kevin. Dirty air probe. How does a dirty air probe work? Well, this probe works uh, similar to an S-type or a standard pitot probe where it allows you to determine the velocity by measuring pressure differential. The pressure measurement holes for this one are actually on the inside of these tubes, which makes it very resistant to plugging and it allows you to use it in uh, dense particulate flows. So dense particulate flows, you know, when would I use this probe? Well, uh, in situations like a uh, cement plant, a uh, food plant, uh, lime, coal dust are, are situations where you might use this probe. Well, coal plant. Could you give me a specific example of where I would use this and when I would use this, say, at a coal plant? Sure. At a coal-fired power plant, they are, use a, a mill or a pulverizer to grind their coal up to a fine dust that's pneumatically transported to the boiler. And it's important for your optimization to make sure that that coal dust is distributed evenly amongst all your burners. So you want to know what the velocity is and you want to know what the coal flow is to each burner. Using a probe like this, you can set that velocity or determine that velocity and use that to set uh, an extraction rate for an isokinetic sampling device that allows you to determine your coal flow to each burner. And therefore, you can help with your boiler optimization. Excellent. Sounds like a dirty air probe is incredibly useful for uh, various industries there. So with this type of probe, you know, how do I how do I calibrate this? This is not something that I can easily do on my own, is it? Well, if you have an EPA certified wind tunnel, you can. We this is uh, calibrated in the same way as a, an S type pitot probe, where you would uh, use a variety of velocities that cover the range you're expecting in your test and determine your probe calibration factor in that way. Well, I know that Airflow Sciences, you know, makes these probes and calibrates the probes. Do we also calibrate uh, probes for other clients? We do in our uh, wind tunnel in-house, we can calibrate a variety of velocity measurement probes. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Matt. This has been uh, Dr. Kevin Linfield today with Matt Gentry, and we've been talking with ASC Table Talk. Thank you very much.